Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing a Notion tour. In last week's video, I did a semester prep with me. You can go ahead and click the link up in the iCard to go check that out. This video is not sponsored. I just love Notion. Um, I have literally used every form of a planner possible. The Erin Condren planner. I've used the Happiness planner. I've used Google Calendar, Google Keep. You name it, I have used it at some point. Notion it paired with Google Calendar has been planning productivity system that has stuck with me the most. A lot of my friends ask me, they're like, how the hell do you use Notion? It is so confusing. First open it, it's a blank document and you're like, where the heck do I go next? So what I did is I looked up Notion tours and I found some templates I like. My Notion I is completely inspired by this creator here. I did not come up with this format at all. Basically just took different templates and made it my own. But we're gonna just hop into my Notion tour. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm posting two times a week in August every Sunday and Friday 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you should definitely hit that notification bell set your alarms so you're notified when I do post because I have a lot of good content coming this month that's why I'm posting two times a week I'm really trying to get out as much content as possible for you guys um, I know it's gonna be difficult managing college and um, YouTube I'm really gonna try my best to get out content at least once a week for you guys I really hope you enjoy let's just go ahead and get into the video Let's just go ahead and open my Notion. So here we go. I have my dashboard. I have the weather of where I'm from. Let's have it really simplified. I know some people have like a really intense setup for a Notion, but my Notion is very simplified. Like a lot of our distraction from our goals sometimes is that we get so caught up in the planning and instead of the actual doing. My dashboard is pretty simplified. I have my agenda, I have my content planner, my college page, page, my 2022 goals, my dorm checklist, um, and that's, I've been using that a lot, um, and I used that, like, when I was getting bored towards the end of my senior year, um, life, we have my habit tracker, fitness, which I, I kind of track, like, my PRs, and I also kind of lay out a workout plan, I have my journal, and a notebook, which is well, I'll put down like random little pieces of advice just to put in there. I have my shopping list, meal planning, budget tracker, and monthly reflection. I'm just going to walk you through my notion. So here at the top, I just have this background which I created in last week's video. Make sure to check it out in the iCard after this video. But obviously it matches with my background here. Um, I love this little like you got this I just love pink and orange I love the combo of that that's like the theme of my dorm too um, but here I just have the little monthly overview and then I have just my weekly layout I go in every Sunday plan out my week I really do like the week um, starting on Monday so that way I can kind of plan out next weekend because if I started on Sunday I would have to plan out my weeks on Saturdays if that makes sense so here I can jot down random little tasks that I need to do within the next week, next, um, here I can just jot down like weekly tasks that are reoccurring, um, and then I can also jot down like things that I have going on next week. Next here I have my assignments, I can just put all of my different assignments I have for my classes here, sort it based on, based on the date it's due. Here I just have all of my courses so I can just add the different course to the assignment, and then here I just have like my training courses which I have to do before I go into school. So that's just my agenda, kind of like easy access. I use it every day. To our dashboard, I have my content planner, which I'm gonna blur it out and be kind of annoying with this just so I don't reveal all my video ideas. But here I just have my channel banner. This is kind of like my older channel banner, but here's my, my content calendar. Sometimes I'll go through and like what I did in previous months here, you can see in previous content planners. I had like my videos like planned out here so that way I can just kind of see it as a monthly overview it gives me a kind of like a layout a monthly view of where my videos are gonna fall when they're posted here is my video tracker this is like my savior um, keeps me so organized with my videos so here I have like all of my videos I have the number of videos I've posted it has different statuses on the video so for instance my notion tour which I'm filming right now it's in the status of filming obviously um, but once I'm done filming it'll go into the status of editing so it's just kind of a nice way to kind of 
progress um, down the line with some content. You can kind of view them as like a post-it note kind of deal. So you can transfer it over. Um, and there is my college page. So I have like my academic plan. Um, here it's really cool because it has my academic plans. I really like this because you can kind of visualize how many credit hours you're taking at a time. It shows you your schedule and when you are um, I'm going to plan out my schedule in the spring. I can kind of see the credits I already have and the credits that I do need. Here I can just put like when my fall semester starts, which is August um, 22nd. Here I have my courses. Um, so I don't really know exactly how I'm going to use it. Obviously, I'm going to experiment around with what works best for my classes. This is just cool to kind of visualize my courses here. Next, I have my 2020 two goals and i have my little 2022 vision board here I, it's kind of cool to separate your year into quarters so i have it separated in 12 weeks so we're currently in our third quarter of the year this is my dorm checklist so this is kind of random i just have like college to do's i kind of went through and i just have like all the furniture I want, decor, necessities, random. Been really helpful with like planning out moving. My life, so I have like my habit tracker. I don't really use it that much because I mean, sometimes it's cool if you're like trying to like keep keep consistent with those habits. So I, I think I might wanna use this more this month um, just cause I forgot about it, honestly. Here's my bookshelf. So um, I actually finished a lot of these. So it's kind of cool to go through and like add them um as red but this is kind of cool because if you want to track track the books that you want to read versus the books that you already have read um i'm currently reading think and grow rich i also have read um uh, dad poor dad which is a finance book which i really enjoyed if you are into personal finance notebook we're gonna kind of jump around that's where i like add like notes about certain things so like you know i have my improvement notes which i really like this because you can go in um, I, I have like podcast notes, just like my random kind of like junk drawer for Notion, just like random little things. Um, and then fitness, I just have like my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like all of my workouts. I have like an example hit workouts. I have example hit workouts. Um, I have my PRs, which is really cool to look at the progression. Um, and then here's my journal. I haven't really use it that much. Um, I feel like I should use it more this way I can kind of visualize what's my income and then what based on my income minus my expenses which is obviously my net income um, so this is just kind of cool and then at the end of the month I can add up my expenses under coffee and then kind of align it with what my budget is because I don't know I just feel like it's good to be on top of your expenses and be on top of your finances there's a little monthly reflection I have not actually done this um, but I've just kept it because I know I really want to start doing this. Um, I think I'll definitely start doing it this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below some video requests that you guys want to see. You guys watch me every week, so I want to give you content that you want to see. Thank you for supporting me. I'm so excited for this new chapter in my life. Follow me on my Instagram. It's on the screen and it'll be a link down below. And make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I am posting every Sunday and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Normal months, I just post every Sunday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.